So what do you guys want to do for Christmas for your family? Well, I still want to spend time with my daughter for a moment. What about you? Well, I got nothing to do, but they were asking me to make a little Christmas magic. Really? I love Christmas magic. Ugh. Ugh. Quit it, Miguel. I'm not until you explain to me about what are you doing. I don't know. Okay, break it up. Ugh. All right, cut it out. This is no way to act. What are you doing? I'm trying to stop him from doing something. I quite not sure what it is yet. I don't remember why. I know why. You're preventing him something, are you? Well, yeah. I wasn't doing nothing. I was trying to stop something. You guys got to believe me. Great. Tony, does this look familiar to you? Not really, Stefan. Not even. Yeah, it does look familiar to me. Really, when was the last time you went rogue? I didn't. We've been manipulated by this creepy guy. He looked like a loser to me. Yeah, but that was until I heard that he was wearing some kind of purple mask of some sort. Really, that seems familiar, I think. Yeah, me too. Now, come on, Miguel. This is Christmas. You know, the season of giving. It doesn't start until next week on Sunday. But I don't have time for that right now. Oh, really? What do you have time for? I don't know. Dealing with Alchemax? Excuse me. Look, as much as I hate to disagree, but we're on a tight schedule right now. I need to find the spot, wherever he's at. May I ask, who is the spot? I don't know, some man who travels through portals to alternate realities. Then that's what we're after. Yeah, hopefully the spot won't be a change. Oh, it will be. But that's where I come in, Mysterio. That's right, Stefan. I'm back. Okay, who let in the snow globe? Aha, very funny, Stark. But haven't you forgotten? I used to work with you. Now I have to fight both wizard and man of iron, just like how I am. Okay, first of all, I fired you because you're unstable. And look what you did to my friend. You put him on the news exactly why I didn't want him to get involved with JJ in the first place. S excuse me? Why you think he's overprotected to your duties? Because JJ is just a nuthead. Um, Stark, is there something you're not telling me? <sighs> All right. Can you give us a second, please? I'll give you 10 minutes to confess. Besides, I have all day to wait. Okay, look, kid. Why do you think I went against your limits and why I said stay close to the ground and help the, the, the poor instead of the rich? Why is that? Because truthfully, Jameson is nuts and crazy. He doesn't trust anyone than me and Captain America or anyone else. All he can, He's very self-gloating and very annoying and kind of shithead type of way. He is? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't personally trust him either. I've seen enough of his insolence. You did. Which is why I had to wipe out his memory, and I didn't. Yet he still continues to, to boast him. Why can't you just beat him up? Because it's against the law. And also, I'd rather wait until he's arrested. Yeah. Or you can have Venom eat him. Did that happen in your universe? Not that I recall, but I'm just thinking. Because I do know Eddie Brock hates Jameson a lot. Yeah, so does Crone Stone. Who's that? We'll discuss this some other terms. Yeah, right. And then after that, even without me, this is what happens. You let him take advantage on you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. But now it's too late and you, there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, really? I can still take care of you myself. And besides, I'm not your biggest fan. Unlike the uneditable ones who are manipulated. Really strange. I wish... I can take that magic ring off of you so I can use it for my own ultimate power. And you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to be a hero no more. Really, let me guess. You're exposed? In this universe? Yes. 
I don't know how they found out. Maybe because in this dimension, Mysterio will always be the bad guy. That's right. I've seen all your histories. And I've seen how many times you've been exposed. Well, not in my universe. I was never exposed. Well, not yet. And in this case, as I said before, you're fired. You're fired. Or should I say, extinction to us all. This time, I'm going to send you back where you faced Thanos in the first place. Don't get me started. Get off me, you flying carpet. You ruined my life and I'll ruin yours. Get off me. On the contrary, I didn't come alone. I have friends. This time, Peter, I'm going to turn you all into reptiles. Not if you feed me after midnight out of that reptilian skin, because it's almost the anniversary. Except I'm not like those pesky, laughable creatures. But I know someone who are, and they are willing to throw ornaments on you. What do you mean, ornaments? <laughs> Hello, Sp uh, Spider Man. We meet again. Wait, you're not the one I'm after. And neither are. Can you give me a second? Uh, uh, okay, now what's wrong with him? Uh, just give me a second. I gotta consider. Me. Uh, this glider won't stay stuck every time I. Uh, come on, you stupid bat like. Uh, flying object. Uh, uh, ha. Okay, this is embarrassing. I'm just shut up and give me a sec. Uh, there. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Can the spider come out and play snowball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, who's the Grinch right here? I'm not a Grinch. I am a goblin. Green goblin. Really? And I'm and I'm Baymax, so <laughs> oh. And I just got one question. How come there's no Oscorp in this dimension? There isn't. There's always Stark Industries. And you look like an evil version of myself. Have you by any chance went to civil war with Captain America? I don't have a Captain America, but I do have an octopus by any chances. Very large ones. And we're split personalities then. Really? We also have an Oscorp as well. And that's where I come in. So strange. Let me have that precious little ring. Get off me. I want to have it. I don't think so, Harry. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Ah, gotcha, you, you overgrown psycho. Ah, let go of me or, or else. Hey, Parker. Oh, great venom. That's right, and I got a lump of coal for you. I don't think so, Jack Simpleton. Yes. Speaking of which, I got Christmas to unwrap. You. Yes. And now, it's time to explode this, shall we? Gotcha. I'm going to destroy you, spider. And this time, I'll catch after the original. We'll see about that. All right. Oh, a fuel log. That's perfect. Not this perfect. Now tell me, Strange. 
How do you master the mystic arts? I'm not telling any imposters. Not even a cheapskate one. Cheapskate? You don't know anything about me. Yes! All right. Where was I? Oh, yes. Newsflash, you're not my first goblin. We'll see about that. I like your arm. Oh, really? You think it's cool? We'll see about that. Yes. Yes. Oops. Ow. Oops. Oh. Oh. Yes. All right. I'm going to devour you. Not really, Lizzie. Oops. Oops. Whoa. What is that stuff supposed to do? It turns everyone into me. <coughs> Excuse me, I eat a rat. Yeah, yeah. Out of rehearsal, maybe. Yes! Ow! Yes! Uh, don't eat me. Eat you. I want to poison you. And you shouldn't mess with me. As long as I reign. Yes! Uh. Out of my way, this is my fight. This time, it's your turn to be impaled, like it or not. What? No one impales my kid. Hey, Stitch. I speech, not screech. Who asked you, Tin Man? I didn't. It's Iron Man, actually. Whatever, you're both made out of copper of some sort. That's not what it's made out of. Now what should I do, crush you with a rock or smack you with a tree? Are you comparing me? Because I'm no giant. Oh, really? You've got to like it's such a popular movie. Okay, now to deal with the xenomorph. Get this carpet off me. It's not a carpet. Why is everyone comparing for it? Because it's a popular movie, except he's not in it anymore. No, just misguided once, and that's why I don't do advertise. Okay, Merlin, time to gand off your guts. I've got you, spider. You're mine. And this time, Peter, let's see who's behind the mask. Oh no, you don't. Ow! Hey. Hey. Oh. All right, let's rip this armor off you. Really, I met a scientist who's me out of green. I'm a scientist, my, oh, shut up. I was a photographer before then. Ugh. Who asked you? As I was saying, there is a genius. Really? Is his name Connors as well? No, his name is Bruce. AKA the Incredible Hulk, and he's no one's abomination like you are. Ugh. I really still need to know about the, the Hulk, whoever he is. You have no idea where I've seen him from. Uh, yeah, but I get used to his anger. Now to send you back to your realms. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah. Whew, man, that was close. Yeah, I'm, luckily I'm not gremlin food by this guy. Except he has a tail. Yeah, they're both chemicals. I wonder if he wore glasses. Yeah, I think he did once, but I should ask 
my other self first. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Seriously, does he always scream that way? I can't stand his screeches. I don't know anything about him. He just shows up and tries to eat me. Well, only the other Peter knows, so we should ask him that. Yeah, I think so. But until then, let's just hope we don't see another version of him, except for the big one who's kind of a kind of a junk food eater than just a flesh and blood one. He did say he's poisonous, so that means we shouldn't mess with him. But and by the meantime, let's celebrate Christmas. Yeah. So does that mean you and I are good now? You? Me? Not a chance yet. Okay. He's still not redeemed, is he? Yeah, just the same how you and Cap did. Well, don't start with me yet. I'm still recovering. By the meantime, maybe I should give Harry my Iron Patriot armor that I made for, for Roby. How do I know you can give it to him? Because I always keep my promises just intentionally. 